Because the only time we talk now to strangers is with a camera on 6th Street. That's the only time people talk to strangers. Yeah. Uh, hi, what's the craziest place you fucked at? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's content. I fucked now. my uncle on a boat once, yeah, yeah. and then they're like, "We're gonna put that on the internet." Yeah. And they're like, "Please don't." <laughs> and they're like, "It's on the internet right now." Yeah. Okay. We're live streaming. <laughs> so, uh, this is bad. 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 to drag out whores. No. <laughs> so, have you done anything gay? <laughs> What? Have you done Have anything we started? gay? We've been starting the whole time. Oh, okay. Have I done anything gay? I'm your, like, I lived in Germany seven years. That's pretty gay. No. No. Germany's like Germany, the least No, gay. European men, we're like... We are. Why say we? You're with a we now. I'm German. I'm like three-fourths German. I don't hear the accent. Yeah. Ich spreche Deutsch. Yeah. Und yeah, ich spreche Deutsch. Auch, aber doesn't make me European. My mom's German. All my family's German. How German? Like accent? from Bavaria, from like clip? live in a small. No, don't ask for clips. Do you um? Do you <laughs> Colton, why don't you <laughs> don't ask him about your uh, your little rendezvous in Germany? Oh, have you been to Bergheim? <laughs> no, it's Bergheim. Bergheim. What's Bergheim? Uh, it's in Berlin. Have you been to Berlin or just? I've been Bavaria? to Berlin. Yeah, have you been to any of the sex clubs there? No, I went with my mother, so that wasn't. <laughs> have you like, ever had? I wasn't on the top of the oh, list. Yeah. I wasn't question. like mom. Can we go get McDonald's and then go to the <laughs> sex clubs together? Yeah, I don't if know. If I get scared, can you hold my hand? I don't know how codependent you are with your mom, but you leave her behind, honey. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, hadn't seen her, I hadn't seen her in like two years. It was Bye, like I gotta get like... my dick sucked. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, guess what? I'm gonna go for a little bit. I'll be back. Don't worry about me. Worry hey, about bitch, me. I'm gonna drop you off at the zoo. I'll I'm be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to the Hope other they zoo. have a scale. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm saying with my brother. Brother, when I get back to Massachusetts for Christmas, and I yeah. can't wait to get on Grinder and see all the hometown boys. Okay. Yeah. 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 It was just more of a family thing. It Have you ever like... jerked off in a room with another guy? Yeah. Oh, cool. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's like in a, in how many adult? times? Not met, like high school. You know, I don't know. Why were you guys in high school? Because I think room? it was like me and a buddy. Me. And two buddies got like really high. We would just watch porn. Like a uh, high would be way worse. It was not great. <laughs> no, high would be. We worse. all I we guess. all picked a corner. We all picked like a corner. I hate when straight guys pick a corner. Just it was like we did like a triangle, and we didn't like look at each other. We just looked forward at the television. No, you have to look over. I, I, ne- I never it's did. so much better if you look over. Is I it? Play it on I feel like that's how you become you. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be so bad? Would yeah. that be so bad? <laughs> <laughs> you looked over. Have a I watch you put makeup on for thirty minutes. 30 okay, minutes. it was less than five. <laughs> thirty minutes. How dare you tell our wow. boys that we have makeup on? How <laughs> dare you tell the boys who, is, who love us? They, true. No, this is natural. It's all this natural. Is natural. Natural. They woke up like this. I played on a traveling soccer team, and so we, I had to share a hotel room with a, a guy, and yeah. only one of them was just like naked on the bed, just like. Oh. And he looked at me like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "What are you doing?" Oh, was so he, he was just in the open. Yeah. Oh, is that's he, crazy. Is he hot? Yeah, and sometimes I think about where he is. <laughs> he definitely is either in jail or has kids. Like either one, so hot. That it's is a, no. That's a psychopath. That's a psychopath to be like. I'm gonna be over the covers. Why? Just, I I think if it, you're with just like friends, like walking. There's one friend. It was his room. Okay. Don't maybe. you think he was trying to make something anyway, happen? He made sure it, I knew it was his room. It I've wasn't done it. Our room. I've done it before, where it's like I'm on the road with like a, a comic, and they're like asleep on the other bed, but oh. I'll do it like under the blanket, like quiet, like small. Just go pump. to the bathroom, you lazy bastard. I don't like jerking off in the bathroom. I like being on my bed. I don't like jerking off in the bathroom. I'm right there with you. I don't want to look in the mirror. I don't want to see my face. I know the face I made. Over. It's touched over. <laughs> so yeah, like I want to be on my back. So I put in my, my chest pods. is like touching the sink. I'm like, yeah. oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> I like it. Like I don't. I don't look at the mirror. I, I look at my no, phone. You definitely look. No, if you guys were looking at your triangle Col- Colton, fuckery, no, <laughs> you, Colton, no, you definitely look in the mirror. I don't know. You don't even watch porn. You just look at yourself. And you're I like, actually, oh, yeah. I've actually tried that before. Did you like it? No, it's crazy. I used to have sex with this guy who wanted to. Because I like insertion. <laughs> Well, the guy I had sex with, he, this guy in Portland, he wanted to watch me put it in, so he had to like angle it in front of the mirror so he could see my dick going into his ass. Well, yeah, that's fun. By the way, he was so hot. That's so fun. He actually, probably the best sexual chemistry he wanted I've to, ever could had. Could you say that one more time? He he, he to, actually used Dylan's pocket bronzer and he kind of just looked <laughs> like this with the mirror. He did a spy mirror situation. You oh. know, we used it one on the wall, but he was like, he likes to watch it go in. Oh wow! Yeah, he I mean, was. Oh wow! Do you think that's something that only hot people can get away with? 
Yeah. Well, if you have an ugly person does it, it's like, look, close your oh, eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, wanna, you you want to see your body? Hey, when people, <laughs> people are like, oh, I have a mirror on my ceiling. And there's no mirrors in my room. <laughs> no, no, no. The no. only people that need to see me fuck are the person I'm fucking and God himself. Well, that's about it. You know what about funny? taping it? No, fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. Sometimes Why? guys. Sometimes guys ask I if like they can it. film me. You like, yeah, dinner. but you guys are also like in shape, attractive, strapping men. Don't well, say I you guys like I'm in shape. You know, but you are. No, you, you are in shape. You look good. Be happy what you've accomplished. If you saw with the shirt off, you'd kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> but, uh, you know, black no, looks great on you. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, wait, I was gonna say some guys sometimes ask me if they can film me sucking their dick, and I'm like, no, no. Hey, we either both have to be on camera or no. Is it like that? I, yeah. You can't trust these guys. Do you want to know why? They send the videos to other guys. I've to be seen, like, yeah. You'll You've get, seen what? No, they'll send you videos of like a guy sucking the dick, and I'll be like, oh, you're the dick. You're not uh, the guy. So it's just some guy just like, bleh, bleh, and There are like, like hundreds of people in Austin who I'm sure are like living happy lives that I've seen them suck dick, and you're like, I didn't consent to this, did they? Yeah, yeah that's wild. That's yeah. wild. Have you guys ever sent like a dick pic and... <laughs> A hundred a day. A hundred a day. Hey, a hey, hundred a day. Can we rewind? <laughs> hey, can we rewind? <laughs> my, you guys, of, of course, send a lot of dick pics. My rule is if you want to see it, I'll send it. If I think you're attractive. Yeah. I've never sent one. I actually, I go. Is it a bad it? sign? He's never sent one. No, it's not a bad sign. I think it's just there. Again, I think. Women in, I think dick. I got scarred because in middle school, someone sent a dick pic and it spread through the school. Yeah. That, and that was just like, a, oh, man, like, man, you can't trust these hoes. That is so true. Wait, why, why are you so worried if people see your dick? I just, it's, I don't What's know. What's it it's look like, like? Describe it with words. It's not words. bad. It's like very average. Oh, good. It's just very, oh, on we a warm day, it's great. Dick. On a cold day, it's, we're, you know, we have to. Guys are so obsessed with their soft penis. Yeah. I'm like. Oh, I'm a grower, not a show. It has but to most be. guys are. Sometimes you see guys dick with often you're like. Yeah, everyone's oh, no. a grower. Yeah. No, there's some people that yeah, God really loves. And they're just like, it's always. Yeah, but it gets bigger. I know, but I do love a big soft dick. <laughs> That's impressive. Dude, but it's when rare. you see a big soft dick, you're like, what? It's rare. Come on. But you you seem to have seen a lot of dicks. <laughs> I've watched porn. You're also very straight in the sense that I feel like men would be naked around you. I don't. Yeah. I again, dude. The thing is, it's weird. I uh, like growing up in Germany. It's like a different cult. Like, what, what ages were you in Germany? From first to seventh grade, and then okay. I would go every like year to yeah. high school and stuff, and like see friends. I don't know. Did you play I, soccer? Uh, I played rugby. Yeah, I yeah, played yeah. Rugby for a year. What then position? we would play soccer, but like I was never on a team. Just like. For fun. And what stuff. were you? Were you one? I was one, yeah. yeah. Nice. But, uh. Yeah, 14. Yeah? Okay. Is it that, what does that mean? No one here knows what that means. Positions. Oh, okay. Positions. So that's like, it's saying center. Well, for I our asked, American asked, fans, everyone's like, I asked if he played team? center and he went, yeah. No. Oh, okay. I'm basically in the pile, just grab the ball, and he's the guy that kind of, he's on R- the Runs wing. and really Sorry. doesn't touch anybody, but has great hair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you ashamed of your hair? No, I need a haircut. If only and you yeah. knew a barber. Hmm? I said, if only you knew a barber. Are you a barber? No, you are. Oh, I'm not going to. No, I, I usually do cut my own hair, but I want somebody else's eyes on it. Okay. And so I'm going to Sam Lopez's Lebanese womanizer. Nice. She's like, he really is aggressively uh, misogynistic. And I was like, that's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to meet a Lebanese womanizer <laughs> to cut my hair. And now I'm going on Wednesday. God. But it's true. Don't you think Americans are like too oh, over yeah. their? Oh, I don't know, because like in Germany, like Hi, friends, we you? hug, we hugged, we would like bond, like physical. It's very like it doesn't matter, straight or gay. Like everybody just showed affection in that. But you aspect. also do like shower with other guys earlier in in Europe. Like yeah, yeah. I remember being in like I've kindergarten, and there was just like a shower just to go to the swimming pool. And yeah, it was, like all of us were in there. We're just naked. I remember seeing my first circumcised dick, and I was like, that no uncircumcised dick, it's, and I was like, dude, that guy's dick is fucked up. It's <laughs> it's scary. It's like an anteater. Yeah, you're no, like I didn't yeah, I didn't yo, know we're I, watching I, the I, Discovery I, I, Channel. I'm gonna be here repping my uncut bros. I, 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 you're I'm uncut. A, I'm uncut. I, I, Naturally I, circumcised, as they said when I was born. Um, that came out the doctor said this one's good to go uh but yeah i i think that's where most of the world is I've, we're all uncut it's just you freaks with your scarred penis yeah you we're, like the capi- we're like we're like the know capital what? with all of our plastic surgery <laughs> it's crazy you see new hugger games is really good by the way i'm gonna see it but also people always talk about like oh my god uncircumcised dicks have y'all seen your circumcised scars it's not 
scars. Nasty. Yeah. Scars. Some guys are I jagged. Would have a scar jagged. I like I looked for my scar and I can't find it. Okay. I, I can show you exactly where it is. My doctor was really good. He clean, <laughs> yeah, clean yeah. cut. Clean cut. I disagree. Huh. I see. That's what uh, when guys have like jag. You see the jaggedness of it. You're like, that's jaggedness. Great. What did they cut it with? Like fucking rusty scissors. It's like, well, we gotta cut it with. You guys are just so no. You guys Why are, are you trying to like get me scared of my own fucking? Because penis you guys are right so now. normalized to you're uncircumcised disgusting. penises that you that to <laughs> circumcised penises that you think that what you're looking at is normal, and all of you have been lied to lied to uh -huh. tonight i'm gonna go home just like look at my dick oh you like, gonna go <laughs> home or you gonna wait till tonight i'm gonna go in the break you've been you're gonna go in the public just look at your dick what i'm gonna go to the bathroom still you've been mutilated don't do that what <laughs> you, do you just like investigate your dick every few hours just look at it yeah. well, it pops up pretty quick if yeah. i have any questions any questions <laughs> <laughs> questions get immediate you just answers checked in on them in my world How are we doing today questions get immediate answers okay or but, i'll forget about the question i'll never ask it again oh mm -hmm. but you did just say something that made me think of a conversation i had this morning which was like everyone's more affectionate over there you said uh -huh. and i really feel like i was talking to my friend quaid today and we were talking about how we actually think that 2024 my new goal is to like actually like stop wearing my headphones as much and actually approach people because yep. I feel like we're all so afraid of rejection right now that we're walking around like kind of these isolated bubbles of like don't talk to and it's actually making us a lot more lonely and really unhappy so I think and he was saying because he just met this girl at a bar the other day he was like no everyone's so addicted to their phones and the apps that it's actually easier to meet people because just by going up and saying something oh. you have so much more confidence yeah dude the crazy thing is uh, like dating in this city if you just like listen to someone, like if I just listen to a girl for 20 minutes, she's like, hey, do you want to go back to my place? Like, because they're just like, oh, man, he paid attention to me yeah. for 20 minutes. Oh, he was interested in my conversation. It is crazy. You're right about that. If you just like show like interest, mm -hmm. people are just like. If someone came up to me in the street was like, hey, I thought you were really handsome. I just wanted to say hi. I'd be like. Oh my God! <laughs> you know what I mean, like, and so I'm like, I don't, I sh I don't you would know what go, I do. hey, you want to get a drink? And also, my dick ain't cut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'd actually be very suspicious of that person. Really? I no, go, I'm like, doing what? it now. I go, what do they? What do they well, want? Well, actually, from me? anytime I'm what do they they want attracted to you, I'm like, oh. I disagree. I think I think you're right though. Like, you walk up to someone and you just like strike a conversation. People are like, oh, okay. Well, we were also talking yeah. about like famous because the only people. time we talk now to strangers is with a camera on Sixth Street. One hundred. That's the only time people talk to strangers. Yeah. Uh, hi. What's the craziest place you fucked at? <laughs> Everything's content. I fucked now. my uncle on a boat once, yeah, and yeah. then they're like, "We're gonna put that on the internet." Yeah. And they're like, "Please don't." <laughs> and they're like, "It's on the internet right now." Yeah. Okay. We're live streaming. <laughs> Whatever happened to signing release forms? All these guys online. It's like oh. you don't need release forms for Instagram, apparently. You no. Can just pull it, which is like way more famous than like anything on Netflix. It's crazy. It's also it's just crazy. Anytime I see one of those guys, I just walk away. Because I was like, they're not here to, to ask like a good, good question. Yeah. Right? Make me look good. They're the enemy. Yeah, they're the, the enemy. The enemy on the streets. Don't It's always funny because it's always just like a cute blonde with like big tits. She's just like, hi, can I ask you a question? I'm like, oh, you want to ruin me, you devil woman? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what question do you want her to ask you? How's your day? What? I just want to know how. I was told by my straight friend not to ask him about their day. Why? He yeah. said, he goes, men don't ask questions like that. See, that's the thing, though. That's American. That is I don't want American. To... You don't ask another man how their day is because I... that means you kind of want to fuck. It's like, no, I just want to know how well, my body's I would, doing. But that's Today, how I. I'll give me a bigger swath. You know, how was your week? How's your week? Because, you know, I have, I'm have i on Chantix right <laughs> now, and so I have so many fucking roller coasters. You ask me about my today, you're going like, uh-oh, he's Wait, not okay. But actually, Chantix? I'm doing great. To stop vaping. Oh. You should so. just stop. No, I'm, I'm okay. I didn't mean to attack you. <laughs> wow. Now I'm actually, I'm going to go off Chantix and keep on going with this. Well, you're still vaping. <laughs> yeah, that's what Chantix is. Oh, you do whatever you do. You do Chantix and then you can make. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You do Chantix. No, Chantix. Sir, did you, Ch OJ, did you kill your wife? Yes, but I'm on Chantix. Like, oh, yeah. Who cares? No, Chantix blocks the like dopamine receptors from nicotine. So, as this actually doesn't taste as good as it normally does. Basically, oh. the, Chantix is like. <laughs> Chantix is like the curse from Pirates of the Caribbean, where he's like, apples don't taste the same anymore, you know? Do you know that when I was in sixth grade, I actually cut my hand like, <laughs> no, so Pirates of the Caribbean, Pirates of the Caribbean in sixth grade. Wait, stop. Yeah, no, he said a different word for a different story, though. Wait, yeah, I wanted yeah. to throw this out there really quickly. <laughs> 
really quickly <laughs> yeah. that Kira Knightley actually cuts her hand to break the curse in that first one. I thought she looked so beautiful in it. So in sixth grade, I took a knife and it went to my hand. Jesus Christ. And then Christ. it hurt so badly. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to hide it. I had to hide it from my dad because if I told him, if he was like, what happened to your hand? And I told him like, I saw Kira Knightley in a movie. He would have known. He was like, my son's a gay. a gay guy. Yeah, and I and, and so that yeah, that's kind of okay. that brought up for me. But what I wanted to say is, if that's what all Chantex does is like make your vape, it's like it gives you like suicidal thoughts. So it's like you're gonna either kill yourself or your vape just doesn't taste as good. No, no, I won't listen to the suicidal thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be like I thought something. I actually was thinking every about time, that today. Yeah, every time you smoke, it just goes. When kill I was yourself. on, <laughs> <laughs> that would be yeah. so good. Kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. When I was on, when I was addicted to cocaine, I was like thinking about killing myself, like all, all the time. How long were you addicted to coke for? I would say about like two years. Whoa, oh, whoa. Okay. I did. Uh, I'd say I did, about like one or two. I did three to four months. Yeah. yeah. But uh, the doctor, well, the psychiatrist was like, how how often do you think about killing yourself? So I gave her like a doctor answer, you know, yeah. when they, you lie about how many drinks you have. I was like, I don't know, anywhere between like three and five, thinking she was like normal amount. <laughs> 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 but she was like, what? That's so much. And I was like, that's a lot because I was lying. I think about it anytime I have to do mm -hmm. anything. Like, because I was like, oh, just running through all my options. I could go to work or kill myself. That's just another <laughs> yeah. option. Can I ask you a question? When you started doing Coke, were you just like, oh, I'm not going to get addicted to this? Yeah. Because I was like that. The crazy thing is, I have the most addictive personality. Like in college, I got addicted to Jimmy John's because it was like right by, there, my, by my house. <laughs> where there, every honey. day yeah. I just ate Jimmy John's. Like even like, I'm currently addicted. To while I was in yeah, yeah. While, <laughs> while I was in college, that scandal came out with the Jimmy John CEO poaching like big animals. Yeah. I was like, look at the animal. He was asking for it. Like that's how addicted <laughs> I was yeah. to Jimmy John's. And it was so funny. I I was doing coke and I was like. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna get addicted to yeah. this. It's the most addicting thing ever. When I yeah. was doing it's drugs. too expensive to get addicted. It's to. too expensive, and then you realize, oh, you can get money loans. Yeah. Oh, you can do Uber Eats and work two other jobs. Yeah, yeah. And it was like so bad. It got so bad. I was like doing it at home alone, and that's when I was just like, yeah, I think it got me. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. I got got. Um, I used to tell people when I was doing drugs and drinking, I go, what's really good about me is that I can handle this. <laughs> and other people, uh, I, and I, I've, said, I've said that. I, I go, I know, I know that like if you did this, you couldn't handle this, but because of who I am as a person, yeah. I can handle drugs. Hey, I'm stronger. I would say things like. Yeah, cut to two years later, I'm like dead eyed. Yeah. Like I have nothing in my life. I've burnt every single bridge. I'm like, I guess I'm I have a strong heart. Yeah. Yeah. Every yeah. time I walked upstairs, I was like. <gasps> <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sleeping yeah. like that, yeah. I would say things like, "Haven't you even heard of a working alcoholic?" Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, that yeah. was me. Yeah, not not good. And then I relapsed recently, uh -huh. and I and I like as I've been sober one week, uh -huh. I've been like, "Oh, I've been afraid of everybody and like scared and like the shame and like the shame would like bleed out into other things." I started wearing makeup. <laughs> yeah, <You know? laughs> I started being like, if I don't show my true self, then I can be safe. Yeah, but also I want to say you have a lot going on right now. For sure, your yeah. husband is moving to a different state. You just moved in with three men. No, no, no. I actually found out. I thought I moved in with three men. I moved in with three boys. Yeah. What do you mean? Why? Bo like ch children? Uncle yeah. Laser. Like I. There. It's. How old are they? Uncle they're laser. thirty. Oh, you're living with Laser. <laughs> laser D. I almost Kyle. bought it only I asked today. them for WD forty, which just every man has. Mm -hmm. And then Laser goes, "Well, I could go to H E B tomorrow." And I'm like, "H E B is where you buy." Okay, great. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I love that you're the most manly in that household <laughs> with a guy named Uncle Laser. Yeah, I was just like, I go around fixing things because it just needs to be done. And Kyle's the only other one who's like, What's it like living that? It seems like it's I'm mostly not there because I'm still like in between. Moving. Um, yeah, taking care of Chip as he moves because we're selling two houses. And you moved your ice one. bath there? Yeah. I saw a video of them in it. <laughs> Those fucking. They're making content <laughs> without me. Yeah, yeah. they're boys. <laughs> they're boys. <laughs> and they have no respect. You you moved into a content house. It's the most Austin content house. Colton, yeah. Uncle Laser, Dean. Well, there is the Austin. Con Colton, you're basically living in a squatch. 
Right, a yeah. bunch yeah. of other dudes using your ice bath. We bring up Squatch a lot. <laughs> yeah. we, I, they, you guys, you guys can, owe us money at this point. <laughs> I hate Squatch. What's Squatch? The gym that all the comics. No, go no, to. no. We it's talked where about Joe Bagley much. goes to work out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you think that is, it's that's that. that. Uh, I mean, He's always like, "You gotta go, bro." Yeah, I'm more yeah, of a Planet God. Fitness guy where people <laughs> leave you alone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's on Fridays. You just go, good job. Yeah, yeah. yeah Squatch is not my. What time I speed. I took my uncle to. It's Planet Fitness, right? The purple mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. And uh, they rung the lunk alarm on him. Good. <laughs> and then he goes, what the fuck? He starts yelling at them. <laughs> it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Marines apparently can't go to Planet Fitness. No, no, no. No, if you're like into working out, you can't go to Planet Fitness. Planet yeah. Fitness is more of a place to go if you're trying. But like you is. really don't want to succeed. You're not, you're not, you're not committed. You're not committed. You're not committed. You show up once every few months. Like, hey, welcome Planet back. Fitness is it is pizza like, day today? Is it yeah. pizza day? I go show? to the red room mm-hmm. and I, I do the hydro massage. And it's kind of like an easy workout for me. I have a membership, but I, I never it's 10 go. bucks a month. Yeah. And it's the best. It's the funniest thing ever because it's 10 bucks a month. You can sign up online. But if you want to cancel it, you have to write a letter. <laughs> yeah. And no one's going to yeah. write a letter. Yeah. They're the, it's the most genius fucking plan like yeah. i have yeah um they also have tanning buds they do which is like mm, should they get a membership you know what i mean like that's crazy yeah but i, I don't think you should tan also, in a tanning bed also a planet fitness tanning bed <laughs> no i really think that that's like really bad for you that's how you become the tan mom Remember I think that's that? like that's how you get leather skin like you really should stop doing tan. that i've Are never done it get I've a never, fake tan no, I have a gross body, so it just looks all gross. But um, you wouldn't look good tan. You look good. <clears throat> what do you want? You don't look, look like? good tan. You look great bronze. Yeah. Thank you. You'd look I like look a. You'd t- look actually like a, do look much better tan. You would look like a Puerto Rican detective tan. That's so hot. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, that actually, I really want to. Then don't movie. do it. What are your relationships like? What do you mean? Sexually and romantically. Um, I am. Um, when it comes to sex, I like to be in a relationship. I'm not you big don't on do the, one night stands. Not really, no. I heard Jordan Peterson say that if you like one, if you do one night stands, you're a sociopath. No, it's not that. It's just like, <laughs> is that true? I go, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, check, please. <laughs> I, I, I deleted Grinder. Re downloaded 20 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a few one night stands. It's always just like I don't know. I I just don't like the game of it. Like when I was on the road, it would always be like, okay. We just met. We're gonna have a few drinks. We go to the hotel. We have sex, and now I'm just laying in bed with them. And I'm not the kind of guy that's like, "Oh, we're done. <laughs> I gotta go to bed." They're now what laying next to me, them? talking, and I'm just like, "Oh yeah, I'm not interested in this that's person." That's not how gay one night stands work. Yeah. I know, because you guys have fi- have it figured out. They co- we well, still live in this old timey. Like you still have to listen and talk. And, they, you know. <laughs> they just come over. Oh, I just feel bad. Do. I feel bad. You I know, feel no. bad. Yeah, but you just need to get good at conversation enders. Like, oh my god, that's so interesting, and I love you. <laughs> and I love you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, oh, on, just come on, too strong. Come on, too yeah. strong. And be like, and also, wait, are you coming on the road with me now? Have, <laughs> should we have children? Yeah, no, that's and, that's like, and you're much. gonna let that come sit yeah. inside you, right? Also, a skin dress. Your your skin as a dress would look great. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just go yeah. full Buffalo yeah. Bill. Uh huh. Yeah, so I actually do feel. Sometimes I feel like straight people. I'm like. Their life is actually, I think, better, like, set up for, like, happiness long term, where, like, everything for gay people is a little, like, not everything, but, like, sex and dating-wise has become so... Short term? Short term. And men, and it, it's, like, and especially when I was talking about, like, I was all being, like, disconnected, all kind of, like, mm. doing our own thing with Grinder. It's, like, fucking eating McDonald's every single day. It's, like, you can just... It's so quick. These guys come over, you hook up, and then you both come, and it's, like... Here, have a great day. Yeah, and they, they're well, walking out, and you're well, like, it's fun. But afterwards, you're like, well, that was well, that was meaningless. Like for instance, right now, I have a situation where I met this girl. It just wasn't working out schedule wise. So I was like, ah, this isn't working out. Break it up. And she goes, hey, I'm moving in a few months. I really like spending time with you. So how about we just fuck until I move. And like whenever our schedules align, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. I just need that like initial connection. I can't like meet someone that night, take them home. I like to. Let's I get to know each other a little bit. That initial, I agree. Just because if you have that connection, now you know. Oh, this is what she likes. This is what I like. So every time when you do it, it's just, easy. it's just easy. It's fun. Yeah. We both we both end up happy, 
by the end of it. But when you're like fucking, they're like, you pull hair, and she's like, I don't like my hair pulled. And then you're just like, okay. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> the recover. And I'm then like, you slap the ass, and she's <laughs> like, my uncle used to slap my ass. I go, you should probably talk to someone else about that. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. it's just like that. And then the next time, it's, I, I just like having the boundaries set. I like this. You yeah, like this. I, I, I agree. It makes but, it easier. And he does mostly oral, but like if I'm hooking up with a random stranger, I am prefacing like, "Hey, before we go into this, if it's going, if you like their dick is too big, if if it's going in, it's staying in, okay? I don't like this. I don't like this. Yeah, you can do this, this, and this. Okay. And then it's like, all right, cool. I just don't like the idea of sex being like a contract. You know, like like it's yeah. I get it. it. I get it. But it's just like that's. I hate. I don't come over for me to suck their dick, and then halfway through, they're like, "Can I suck yours?" It's like, don't trick me. What do you I, mean? I I'm the sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sucking. You don't today. like your dick sucked? <laughs> a lot of guys are not as good. You know, if you've ever, if you've ever heard a gay man say like, you know, guys are a lot better at it. Number one, that gay man is manipulating you to suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> number two, number two, yeah. it's a lie. Some of these yeah. guys are sucking your dick, and you're like, I thought you had one. What's going on? And you have to really put in some time and effort to get really good at it. Yeah. Um. It but takes a skill. Yeah. It takes a skill, but then halfway through, it's like sometimes you're like, I just don't want you to suck my dick. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm here Have you ever yours. just like said stop like midway? <laughs> you yeah, like, you you don't do that. You just go like, not. I'm not really feeling this. Oh wow. That's uh, almost that's worse than like <laughs> I'm not like I'm not mad you at you. To, I'm disappointed. Well, you just that's like that <laughs> version. I'm not into this. But you just invited a stranger over. Yeah. yeah. So it's like what do it's like listen. We thought this was going to be something. Yeah. It's not. It's not. I think it's that true. I think what what I'm hearing from you is that the expectation of sex is something meaningful when yeah. specifically it's like it doesn't have to be. And if I'm just jerking off, I'm like, oh, man, this is supposed to mean something. Then you can relate to be like, oh, actually, I'm just using another person. Because my thing is, like, if I, I want to come, I can just come, make myself come. But like the idea of just having that set Oh, let's both have fun. We can both have fun, get yeah. each other off. Yeah, it's it means good. Nothing. Or even my thing is too, like if I'm having sex with someone I know and I come early, the first time she knows, oh, we'll wait 10 minutes, he'll go down on me, and then we'll go round two. Where if it's a stranger, they're like, you already came, and you're like, hey, it's, <laughs> it's fine, I, in 10 minutes. Now you just, it's like this awkward, like, I don't know. I just hate that awkwardness one of that, I that, that one night stand. There's always like a weird. There is a weird. Where it's like if you know the person, they're like, huh. the, like she'll make like a joke. She'll make like a joke. She goes, huh. like I remember when we hooked up the first time. It was on our third date, and I came early the first time. And she just goes, I never thought I would take someone's virginity. Are you gonna fall in love with me now? And it was just so funny. And I, yeah, it's hilarious. And then we just like joked around, uh -huh. and then we went round two, and it was great. But it's like we already had that relationship built up. Uh -huh. And I was like, to me, that's there was like no pressure of me going like, oh, I'm sorry, this never happens. It was because like, we we already had like a an emotional connection. Uh huh. And I don't mind saying sorry. I don't to mind strangers. Either. I think my my least favorite thing about fucking a stranger is like the the rhythm of yeah. like, all right, okay, what are you doing back there? Like, mm -hmm. okay, well, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I'm just matching up on that. Yeah. It's just like so rare that you have such. I really like. I mean, obviously, the best sex is when you have like insane chemistry with someone. Oh, it's the best. It's the best. And sometimes on Grindr, you do get a little tricked where it's like, usually, honestly, the guys I let suck my dick are the ones that I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, we got a little, like, if this isn't just like some weird whatever, I'm sucking your dick thing, this is like, oh, there's chemistry here. It's like, yeah, let's, let's do it. But like, I don't know. I think that if yeah. you're missing the chemistry, it just feels so transactional where you're like there's nothing special here this was not a movie and the thing is, like my thing is like i don't judge people like there's a lot of people that you don't judge anyone not on, like when it comes to like one night stands oh i think there's yeah. those uh, those people that walking down like, the street you're like what they're almost that like pay? angry that they don't get it yeah. like and my thing is like i also never like try to approach it. i never really had a lot of opportunities for one night stands once I went on tour and with like last year, I was like, there was more opportunities. So I was like, fuck it, let's try it. And then I realized, oh, it's not for me. But I'm, I was never the guy that's like, oh. Were you fuck fucking it. girls after the shows? Uh, that was yeah, twice I did that, and it was just, it just, also it just seems so. Uh, I don't know. It, it's hot. In it's, the, it's 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 fast hot food. in the moment. It's fast food. They, yeah, they see. They're like, oh man, he he did really well, and for fuck, yeah. oh he's like a. Oh, he's actually, I you am You guys are so lucky with women. Huh? You are so lucky you date women. You do well Why? on stage. Women are waiting at the oh, fucking yeah. door to be like, 
hi <laughs> like because they love it men gay men when they see you on stage that's like a turn off also right? though yeah. they go uh, i'm funnier Literally, <laughs> yeah, gay men are the worst. They're the worst, and they're like, Andy's fat. You know what I mean? They're, they're like, they're, you know what I mean? They're like, fuck him. I wouldn't even talk to him after the show. Really? You know what I mean? Yes. Wow. Also, I don't know. I no, mean, the worst though, when you go on the road with someone like famous, sometimes you'll like meet a girl and she's like into you, but she wants to and fuck then, him, and then she's like, can we like hang out with him? And then you're just like. No. You're like, actually, after <laughs> Actually, no. Actually, I thought. And she's like, no, but I'll, like, suck you off, and then can I, like, meet him? And I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. You knock on the door in the hotel room, you go, uh, he's like, I told you not to. <laughs> 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 I told you not yeah. to talk to me outside of the green room. No. But, it, like, like, to me, that's just wild. To yeah. me, it's like, to, to blow the opener, to get to the, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I like that person. They have a game plan. And they're yeah. like, my in isn't him. Also, that I, actually is, that is smart like, to be like, okay, I'm never going to meet this person naturally. Uh -huh. But if I suck off his opener, I could. But also, it just seems like I don't want to use him to be like, hey, man. Like, I don't want to walk in after I just came. Well, that's pathetic. Hey, man, yeah. I need a deal. You could keep the pay, but you're going to shit. I need you. Come on. She's going to blow me. Please. She might blow you, too. Oh, no, it's yeah. I know she has a limp. Just don't yeah, look yeah, at yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, no one's limping in the bedroom, yeah, I honey. She, yeah. <laughs> I know she has a lazy eye. She has a pet Just leg. look at the yeah. good eye. Yeah. Come on. It's a good, good eye. You don't, you don't keep your eyes open while you're kissing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I yeah also, no, it's sad for you, for sure, but it is smart for her. Oh, it's smart. Also, I, I don't know if you guys feel this way. I feel like when I'm on the, because I downloaded um, every single dating app there is, and um, I'm looking at it, and I'm like literally, there are like hot people coming up, and I'm like not attracted to these pictures whatsoever, and I'm wondering, it's like, I feel like everything's getting so flat, and I'm like, am I depressed, or am I like, whatever no, like is it, you match with, I'll, I'll match with like the hottest men i've ever seen in my entire life and i'm like boring you know what i mean yeah. it's like what is this dating apps are they're not we we weren't meant for dating not really. i know our society we should all go we out and try to pick up chicks <laughs> oh i actually love the idea of us it's us playing straight hey honey you want your pussy sucked <laughs> <laughs> sucked yeah, yeah. i heard the I best think... pickup line the other day it's like hey baby where'd you get that pussy <laughs> 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 From who? It was it was a uh, Sam Prickett. Oh As yeah. As a joke, he goes, "Hey, baby, where'd you get that pussy?" <laughs> I when I was hooking up with uh, a straight couple, the guy kept on like being like, "This is how you do it," and he'd like take my hand and like really push really hard on her clit. I was like, I think that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> like, take my hand out. You have to chew. Right. Yeah, and he kept on like trying to like put me in her pussy. <gasps> like, stretch it out, kind of like the the big cartoon eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, and God. then play it like a banjo. Get like a, uh, what is it? Uh, fiddle? A fiddle? Like a fiddle string? Like the Dixie and... check? Mm -hmm. I'm not ready to make. <laughs> nice. Cowboy yeah, that, take me <laughs> I love the Dixie tonight. chicks. They're the chicks only. Yeah. Leave the What's podcast. The... <laughs> What's the biggest transition in your life? Biggest, like, I was this and then I became this. Well, you were born a woman. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> that was a secret. <laughs> yeah, sorry. No. Um, I think, like, doing stand-up. I was a pretty shy kid. Pretty, like, had stage fright. Was very, like, in my own head. I was kind of raised like I wasn't good enough for anything like oh you're gonna just be like a dental assistant you're yeah a loser. that's a great I feel job like that's super german is like no it's, that's my dad oh my dad yeah it's my dad's side they're very just like make money don't be happy marry someone just because it's convenient mm -hmm. and your dad's american yeah he's classic he, american oh and yeah and, and my my grandparents the same way make money did your dad buy spend your the money die and then that's life yeah go to church god loves cash and then you buy your way into heaven did you grow up rich um, my dad's in the army. We had money, but like, n not really rich. We lived very kind of frugal. Like, what? What yeah. did he retire as? Lieutenant Colonel. Yeah. Oh, but whoa. like, so it's like he has money, but it's like I never. Is your dad never hot? see it? Yeah, I, I've never <laughs> yeah, yeah. seen it. I'm just. One time when I moved in, my dad's a lieutenant colonel too. He uh, when I moved into my first house in college. I didn't realize that you were supposed to pay your electricity bill ahead of time because, mm -hmm. like, how would they know how much I spent? So it, they shut it off week two, and I called my dad. I was like, Dad, I have all the money except 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Can I please have 20 bucks? He goes, yeah, I don't really have that in my bank account, right? And I just lied to me, and yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, so I'm fucked? Yeah. He goes, yeah, you're fucked. You're fucked. Figure it out. Yeah. It's always it's always figure it out. Like, my dad will help here and there. Like, it was like one month. 
when I was like a little struggling, he gave me like fifty bucks to pay a bill, but it's very like you're on your own. Be yeah. a man. Yeah, figure it out. Hey, you wanted to be a clown? Fucking clown around. Every time yeah. I talk to my dad, he's like, "If I have money, I give it to you." I remember. You know, he's been saying that my whole life. I remember once I. He doesn't have any. No. Roofers don't make any money. No. Oh. I, I remember once I like fucked up my leg and I couldn't work for a week, and so I was behind on rent. I was like, "Hey, Dad, could you like help me out? When I get paid, I'll pay it back." And he goes, "Wow, man, did you buy a vape this month?" And I go, "Yeah." And he goes, "Well, that could have been towards rent, so I guess you could maybe return it and see what happens." And I was like, "You can't return vape. You can't return the vape. I smoked it all." <laughs> like, <laughs> but it's like that kind of mentality. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Live on your own. Oh wow! So I think that's the biggest change, just becoming more of an open. I was a very like quiet kind of guy, and now I'm like very like people are like, oh, Car- you're very, you can talk to anybody, and that's yeah. like a new yeah. How new? College. I'd yeah. say. Right? How old are you? Twenty nine. Love that. Yeah. So college, I just was like. Where'd you go? UNT. I first went to Where's Texas that? State, dropped out of no. Texas State, the party school, and then went back home for a year. And then went to UNT. It's Texas State, the Austin one? San Marcos. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That, wild. Because was I went from a military home. I don't know about your dad. Like In my home, we had cameras outside the house. Uh, my car had a tracker on it. What? Yeah, and I. do you want to know how I found out about the tracker? I, it was a school night. My dad went to go see the Eagles. And uh, this girl I was seeing was like, hey, come over. My parents are at home. So it's a school night. I go to her house. We're making out. I get a phone call. I'm just hearing Hotel California in the background. My dad's like, where the fuck are you? I was like, I'm at home. And he goes, oh, you're not at this address? And I was just like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I was like, can I please just suck on this pussy first? <laughs> <laughs> no. And he's like, get home now. Yeah, and that's how I found out I had a tracker on my car. Did you go home right right then? Yeah, yeah. Goes, because at that point, like. you have 10 minutes to get home. You have 10 minutes to go home. Oh, my God. I'm against your dad. I think that's so crazy. I Putting tracker and stuff like that, it's like... Oh, he's insane. He's yeah. Nuts. That's my, in cameras. That is insane. We, no. But and it's then even, he wonders why I, like, lashed out my freshman year of college. Because I was like, oh, I was free. free. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, I could drink whenever I can go out all night long. I was like, if you would have given me a little leash... Yeah, I had a, I had didn't have any leash, but my dad would fuck with like any guys that would come and talk to my sister. Like my dad would dress up like in his ghillie suit That's and so and funny. just like hide. And as they were approaching the house, he'd come up with just like and just like fuck with them. That is so. I, I, <laughs> dude, my thing is like, I think if I ever become a dad with a daughter, that the the idea of intimidating is so. It's, it's crazy. it was funny. Or yeah. you just go, hey, treat my daughter nice. That'd be dope. And then goes like, okay. Yeah. She didn't. She didn't really date at all during high school. <laughs> all the kids were afraid of him. Yeah, which is yeah, wild. That he, he just wants your daughter, his his daughter, to be like some loser. Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking that repercussion was going to be. I Probably mean, she pregnancy, is now teen pregnant. I, I bet you that's scary. No, yeah. it's sex. Men are just psychotic about their daughters having sex with other men. They're like, you gotta protect me, daddy. Only, like, daddy. Daddy. Only daddy. daddy gets. Yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> that's what it feels like. It's so creepy when guys are like. My daughter. It's like, ew, you want to fuck her? It's yeah. it's sick. Like, I'm sure your dad was like, would be ecstatic if you were out there slamming some other guy's daughter. Yeah. You know what I mean? He, he oh, was... it's the, that's the crazy thing. Yeah. Because, like. Oh, so so your daughter gets respect, but your friend's daughter should get fucking slammed by your son? Mm-hmm. This makes no sense. Yeah, he was pretty happy that I was doing it. I think he was a little. A li- he never admits it, but I think he was a little afraid. So if I was fucking women, he was like. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My fears aren't real fears. Hey, Jesus, I think we're winning this battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. my gosh. My dad was the opposite. My dad just assumed I was gay because I just didn't really date in high school. Cause he I just kept being like, hey, whenever you're guy. ready. Not that. He was just like, go ask her. I was like, you know, I was like. You walk away, he's like, faggot. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You played rugby up until seventh grade. Did you no, play? No, I only played uh, one year rugby. Oh, okay. And then I bowled. I was a bowler. <laughs> That's <laughs> bad. Don't laugh at That's me. you really, <laughs> don't you laugh really at me. did that <laughs> thing there. That's crazy. I, laugh. I, got, I got offered a full ride scholarship. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have your own bowl? Yeah. Yeah. I have three right now in my trunk. I can yeah. show you later. Why don't you ever ask me to go bowling? 
because you know it's I I like competition. Yeah, <laughs> that's so sad. You're like, are we gonna shower after the game, guys? Yeah. <laughs> it's so different in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> it's just us in the bathroom in a bowling alley, just like wiping away the sweat. <laughs> I got ketchup all over my shirt. We should go to the shower. Oh yeah, it's bowling's the lamest sport. It's the weirdest. People. It was so much. I fun, love though. it. You would played what? Okay, that is a completely different childhood. I get why it was hard to date. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. No one's impressed by a bowler. We won state. Our football team went zero and sixteen. We won state. We got this big of an article in the paper in the school paper. Mm-hmm. What did you they want? Got the front page. We won a little respect. You're we not brought, gonna get hey, it here. No, we You're brought not... gold to the school. That's crazy. We brought gold. I can't even believe you guys had a team. Yeah, we're good. No, no, but just I, I didn't realize off? that there was shirts about an hour and a half south of here. Oh wow! Oh, uh, that's funny. Why shirts? Shir- shirts. It's right next to pants, Texas. <laughs> it means, it means, uh, it means a joke, joke in, in German. German. It means joke, chats. Chats. Yeah. Oh. I'm from joke, Texas. <laughs> I actually hate Germany. Why do you guys, He's la- never why you guys been. laugh when I said I bowled? That's kind of offensive. I didn't Because you went from rugby to bowling. Yeah, because I'm not a man. And you were like, well, you know, like I don't know why bowling. I was shy in high school. Yeah, you said bowling, like, and I go, there it is. Like, when you said rugby. Hey, <laughs> fucking fair. But <laughs> and then I, did, I couldn't date. It was really hard. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah no one's, yeah, yeah. It's really you're like, oh, I know where to put know, my it fingers. It all lines up. Yeah, I just yeah. don't know why you're confused Sorry, about babe, it. I got to hit the lanes today. You only finger like this. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, my fingering game is pretty good because of bowling. Yeah. You know how to release. Release? That sounds so stupid. Yeah, I don't know. That's a release. <laughs> okay. I'm, okay. I can spin a ball. I can throw a girl, just pick her up, fucking spin her. Have you ever had a threesome? No. That's cool. Have you? Yeah. It's frightening. Threesomes frighten me. Yeah, they're not that great. Yeah. I mean, they're fine. I feel like they'd be a lot Has more fun th- if I was, was like... Was it three dudes? Yeah, I've never... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, then I guess I did kind of have a threesome with my friend and his girlfriend, but it was more fingering. Yeah, threesomes just I'm like one is good enough. It's 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 best when there's two people doing one thing. What do you mean? Everybody like if Colton needs, was in the middle and he was test. getting fucked. That would yeah, be great. That's a great. That's a great. But threesome. to be one of the actual towers is awful. Is no, it? no, it's fine. It's whatever. Everybody needs a job and nobody needs confusion. You know, I don't like the free for all. Mm-hmm. I do want to suck two dicks at the same time. Wow. <laughs> What's better than what, sucking one dick? Two, two, two of them. Really? <laughs> Have you done that before? Or no? no, I've yeah. never done that. I'll... It's hey. it's actually a better idea than hey, it is Dylan, doing it. Merry Christmas, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's just God. you and Jimmy. <laughs> I'm like, no, not this way. Boys. Not this way. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's two homeless guys. Yeah. <laughs> hey, afterwards, you have to pay him 40 bucks. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Do you have any uh, thing you're working on, like a, a, a goal or a, let's say a New Year's Yeah, 20, 2024 is coming. Um, is actually, this, coming no, out? this is January 1st. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, my Happy God. New Year's Year's Eve. Eve. Happy New Year's resolutions. Uh, continue. And my two years of not drinking. And oh, my congrats. day one. No, you're, cr- you're killing you're it. You're killing And I love you. Well, I thought I was going to. I sent you a nice message. You never responded. I was. It's. It's. It, it, was, it was so much pressure. Oh yeah. Okay. I, and How I, big I, was I, the message? I actually, Very small. I put it. No, it wasn't. It was. It was a lot. It was like it maybe was, four lines. Really nice. And I let. I went and I swiped right and I put on unread so that I could come back to it. <laughs> and then I never came back to it because it was too much pressure. And then oh, just wow. v- Venmo across. It. He goes. Can I? He goes. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. Hey, I fucked up my bank account. Could you? I just sent you a hundred dollars. Could you send it back to me? I go. Absolutely, <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> I want to take this opportunity. To start. Hey man, I love you. I'm so proud of you. Ever, you don't ever have to apologize. Hey, to I me. know you're going through a lot, but this is great, and I'm here for you. And I'm it was so much nicer than that. No, no, and was, then you're like, hey man, can I get a hundred bucks? <laughs> <laughs> no, he actually did the re- the nicest thing possible, and like inceptioned me into sobriety again. Oh wow! He said that I could do whatever I want. And he said, "Actually, you can re- you can wait until New Year's Eve. Go drink as much as you want. I go take all of December, drink it, and then two days later he goes, I know you said I could wait, but I've decided to stop. I go, whoa, <laughs> good. Okay. go for it. He goes, okay, whatever. That's honestly, yeah, that's good. Because if I told Colton, stop right now, yeah, he'd be like." Pouring Jack Daniels around his throat, being like, "Is this stopping?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one tells me when yeah. I stop. I also would interpret what he was saying as he hates how I act when I'm drunk. Oh. So then I would just hide the drunkenness from him, yeah. which is just. So, Are you a bad drunk? Um, I don't think I don't I don't I don't think so. Most people go like, "Oh, I didn't realize you were drunk." Okay. 
you're more like so self destructive. Yeah. That's me. I'm never I'm never like the guy like, oh, Tony fucking vomited everywhere or he said fucked up no. shit. I'm always when I get home, it's just like burgers, fries, yeah. fucking sleeping the next day. Yeah. Like I just self self sabotage. Yeah, 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 yeah. My friend used to tell me he was like most of the time when this when I was drinking, he's like most he's like ninety nine percent of the time you will take the you will like you know, only hurt yourself. He's like uh-huh. but that one percent you're taking the whole plane down with you. <laughs> I was like Jesus. that's true. Oh, but yeah, that's one of my goals. Drink less, uh I don't know, finish this feature film I'm writing. Um, I just get like I don't know. I think get uh grow some of my friendships a little bit more. Like I know this past year, because I know like in this city it's always like work, work, work. Yeah. I try to take a break from working and actually have like some meaningful moments with friends and stuff. I I, I agree. I I really love that you said that because I was thinking about that too. I was like, there's like last night we were leaving the party and I was like. Leaving with Kat and Casey, and I was like, I love these people. I was like, you know, it's like you just have to like actually hang Dude, out with people outside of, of those, comedy. Yeah, because yeah, we hang out in the back of a comedy club, but then it's always like some weirdo shows up or something. Yeah. And it's like you're not actually just having a moment. And you forget we are at work. Yeah, we're still you, at work. It, like it's it's the funnest thing in the world. But it's out. You're out. These are coworkers, uh-huh. and it's like making coworkers into actual friends, friends is yeah. a very hard thing to do. Also, it's just different. Like I said, it's like someone will just barge in the conversation. So now you don't have this safety. The, not safety, but it's like oh, now it was us being friends, bonding, and now it's like a work thing again. Yeah. So yeah. it's like actually doing stuff with friends, having experiences. Go to Six Flags. Go to this. Maybe you can suck off two of your friends. I wish that for you. Oh, I don't have any <laughs> friends, but um, oh, wow. only strangers. But I. Uh, <laughs> All right. No, that makes sense. Hey, you're a good friend. I yeah. Mean, come on. You fuck your friends? No. Okay. Well, do you have any questions for us? We have a segment called "Do you have any questions for us?" Um. Yeah. Anything you want. What? Uh. Because you used to be a very big guy. Yeah, you used to be over four hundred pounds. What was the moment? Where you're just like enough is enough. I got like meningitis, and I actually did have to be moved to a different hospital because they said if I sat on the toilet, it would um, break the wall. And I and no, they didn't have to put him on a gurney with extended stretchers, which Colton did ask last time, which is completely fine. But um, and no, he's never had an extender seatbelt. Yeah, so. you never but, had an extender seatbelt. But no. he never flew when I he never was that flew. Heavy. I didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. I already know all the answers. Yeah. Um, yeah, what was the moment? I just, you know, I had realized I had gotten myself into a situation. I remember, like, one day just being like, oh, no. Because it wasn't just the weight stuff. It was also, like, I was living at my friend's mom's house mm-hmm. in, like, for $300 a month in a woods in, like, a, 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 a town that didn't even have a gas station in it. Which and he loved to work at. He yeah, loved to work at a gas station. I did love to work at a gas station. But I was drinking every day. And I was uh-huh. just like, this sucks and i just remember being like i either have to like live the rest of my life like this or i have to do something about it uh-huh. and i just started like st- i was like i was my friend was like do you want to go to crossfit with me and i was like yeah were you always like a big guy yeah what, i was like what not- was the moment because I, I remember, like, what caused you to balloon that big? Because I remember the moment with me. So was when I was a like, kid, I was, like, I was like thin, thin. And then same. I had, like, a bunch of siblings. Then my sister died. I was like, a little bit chunkier. Then my sister died. And then it was, like, depression before drugs. Oh, yeah, like, I'm a food addict. Yeah. So it's, like, before yeah. alcohol and drugs, it was, like, food was my first oh, yeah. drug. And I got, like, pretty big. And then after high school, I started doing Adderall. Uh, prescribed and then mm-hmm. when I and I it, like ruined my life and then when I quit Adderall I it was like sick I didn't even realize I was addicted I just thought like this is it's just not for me and then I had such bad withdrawals it sent me into like such a bad depression for the next year because I was taking 50 milligrams uh-huh. a day that I ended up just that's when I gained all of that just weight was it, from binging. from eat, from being on Adderall it was crazy yeah and then binging so I would not eat all day and then I would like eat like two I used to literally get like huge huge portions of Chinese food and like two bottles of Uh wine and get blackout drunk and get like two orders of a family sized meal and just like eat it it it. it was sick it was sick the thing is it's sick but I don't know if you felt but when you're living it the first few times you're just like this is life 
This is how a king must have. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we. I'm the king of France. So yeah. I'm just like, and then after you're done and you look at the giant plates that are empty, you're just like, oh, I'm a beast. I would I'm eat so much that I would I'm feel a... like sick. Like I would have to make myself throw up yeah. because I ate too much. Yeah. So did you ever like just get the gallon of Carl de Rossi? I don't know what Carl de Rossi it's is. It's a gallon of wine. That they oh, might, that no. They have I, oh, the big, yeah, yeah. That I probably should have, but no. I would just what, drink two what, bottles. What kind of, what kind of Everything work? for me is like, I'm going to quit tomorrow. So I never buy in bulk. So exactly. My friend's like, let's go to Costco. I'm like, Costco? You know, I'm like, I got plants. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. whatever. So I'm always buying like, oh, I'll do it today. And then tomorrow we're starting the diet. But that that's just like a just trap. Never, that's the addiction yeah. talking uh -huh. where it's like, no, you're not going to do that. Yeah, you know? yeah, I actually bought my vape today and I go... He goes, it's two for 30. I go, I'm quitting. And he just laughed at me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I go, he goes, is that, he goes, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. He goes, is that, uh, I go, is that, is that funny? Mm -hmm. And he goes, it's really hard. Yeah. I go, okay. I quit vaping because I was like, I got COVID and I was like, just throw it away. And I, and I was awful. It's so crazy. Everything's so smoking. addictive now. Every. So stimulating. They've but made we're smoking being easier. Yeah. They've made. But I, we're tr we're being triggered every single day by our the way we interact with our phones and all these apps, like with the dopamine. So it's almost like we're getting these little hits of whatever. So it's like constantly going up and down, and so that it makes you more susceptible to addictions. Also, I think it's crazy now that gambling, because gambling, if you wanted to gamble, yeah, you had to go to Atlantic City or Vegas. Yeah. Now everybody's just gambling on their phones. Oh, is that not. is that a le is that legal in Texas? I yeah, thought it was. You could find loopholes. Like a VPN. Dude, or the something? amount of comics here that we know that have bookies, that everybody's just gambling now. It's really? crazy. We should go to OTB. What's that? What's OTB? Off track betting, where you like go into it's like a basically like a bar, and they just like you like watch videos of the horses running if you can't make it to the. Yeah, I like yeah. that he's like it's bad. Everyone's gambling. Like, we should try a little. It's fun. Bit. I'll go. <laughs> I love. The thing is, we should go with the horse racing. I the love. Where's was, the closest one? I don't know in Saratoga. Colton, the funniest What's that? is New York. Oh, there's one in Hot Springs. Oh, let's go. Can we go back to Hot Springs this yeah. fall? Yeah, I actually was thinking about that <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, let's go. Hot. The we'll funniest talk later. was I don't know if you noticed it, but we were at Skank Fest having seen comics be at like a cool comedy festival, but it's like right down the street by like nine casinos, and just walking down, going like, "How was your set? Oh, it was fine, but I'm up three hundred dollars." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. you're like, "Oh man, I saw it, Ron White." Like shook your hand. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. I'm fucking up. And then two hours later, they're like, "Hey man, do you have fifty bucks?" Like, That's so. Funny. I thought you were up four hundred. I'm like, ah, bad bets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bad bets, bad bets. <laughs> yeah, like, did you use your coins? You yeah, there's coins at the bottom of your bag. That's like a Bitcoin, man. I remember Bitcoin because I I didn't get into Bitcoin. I won. I did Dogecoin yeah. just because I got in real early. I put like fifty bucks, made like a thousand, and I was yeah. like, "This is good enough." And I took out, bro. The amount of friends of mine that were just like, "Man, just keep put, just put paychecks in." So I could put it in Ethereum. Yeah. It's all gonna blow. Come on, man. And I'd be like, "Nah, it just seems, it seems like a scam." If Logan Paul is telling me to do something, it seems like a scam. It's not like it's the president going like, this is a good idea. Yeah. It's con artists. Logan Paul is one of those people where you're like, how did this happen? Yeah. Because it's, like, it's, it's a He's the modern day Joel Olstein. What? If you think Joel about Olstein it. Joel Olstein is also the modern day Joel Olstein. No, what I'm saying though is, body it's like a modern day, it's like a modern, <laughs> like Joel Olstein used like religion to make his wealth. Logan Paul does the same thing, but with like, hey kids, fucking... Invest in Bitcoin and you could get bitches and fast cows. But who? Cows? Cows. Because it's kids. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like that he's translating for them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I talk like you too. Yeah, yeah. But it's like that idea of like, oh, if you live like me, you can get this lifestyle. Yeah. And it's like the fake, do TikTok dances, subscribe to my class. It's all it's all the same hoopla. Yeah. Okay. Mm, and any questions for me? Any questions I was for you? never fat. Never fat. Well, <laughs> hey, is that what you're gonna ask? Good for you, asshole. <laughs> I used to have an indented chest. Oh, stop bringing what? it up. <laughs> <laughs> like, he thinks it's the same thing. It's yeah. the same thing, except no. I was born that way. I didn't choose it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not cute. Hey, not the, cute. I guess I, I'm not the the. Oh, you're the coming off episode. really yeah. unlikable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is my bronzer wearing. Oh, yeah, it is. is. <laughs> um, Questions for you. Well, we could move on to our final segment. Yeah. Let's do it. Um, which is, if you were a gay man, uh -huh. would you rather have sex with me or Colton? Um, I'm bottoming. I'm topping. And we're both you're giving oral. You're bottoming? You're topping? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and you're gay. 
Yeah, you're gay. Honestly, you like it. Okay, let me do this. Like let it. me do the. If it was like a a fling, it would be Colton. If it was for like a long time, it'd be Dylan. Everyone <laughs> says that. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan is like the guy I would take home for Thanksgiving. Dylan, like my mom would love Dylan. And hate you, Colton. Oh, Colton would be, Cold be around the kitchen table being like, I was never fat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys are cooking more food. Feel- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I didn't think the I'd be in there be like, can I clean the dishes? Yeah, I go, let me clean the dishes, Patty, yeah. you know? Dylan would be like, I think, like, because I think, like, my grandma is. No like, one wants to have sex with me. It's okay. The crazy thing is, like, my grandma is. <laughs> but uh, I love you. Whatever. My grandma's, like, an old school Catholic, what so she's homophobic. <laughs> yeah. Dylan, I feel like, could convert or be like, you know what? This is okay. I've had a lot you, of. You, I think it would just be like, you would come in, like, I'd be like, I, I'm actually more manly than you. What's son. your grandmother's name? <laughs> you'd start playing like Tiesta, you know, and you'd just be dancing. What's your grandmother's name? Tiesta? Is, uh, Gina. It's Tiesta. Gina. She'd be like, this faggot's going to burn in hell. Yeah. <laughs> At first, yeah. but then by the end of the night, she goes, he's a nice man. Yeah. He's a nice I was talking It's about a shame time. he's going to burn in hell. Yeah, yeah. it's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would be like, no, I am burning in hell. It's okay. You are right, but we're going to be friends in the meantime. And mm-hmm. she'd be like, oh, okay. So everybody says that? Everybody says Almost everybody. Yeah. I don't believe in what hell. What do you think it's the reason? Why do you think it's the reason? Well, let's figure this out. Why do you think you're the one I'd stand and he's the the forever? <laughs> you're putting it on me. Yeah. I can answer it on my thing. Please. Well, Col- uh, uh, for, the, for me, I feel like people are like, well, obviously look at Colton. I want to fuck him. Yeah. They're like, Dylan is really fun to be around. But I don't know if I want to fuck him. <laughs> you also, it's the mustache, I think. Your mustache and your hair, it's like that. Traditional husband. Oh, that's you have nice. that traditional husband look. Yours is like gay, gay. Yours is like porn the party. Star. Yours is like the party. Star. Yeah. Okay. And mm. then, but you wouldn't want to bring the party home to mama. <laughs> no. Again, like I said, when I went to Berlin, I didn't go to a yeah, sex but club. I will <laughs> yeah, say, that. I speak German too. I'd fit right in. Well, that's true. Honestly, you know what's honestly, funny too? Okay. Bring me home. No, bring me home. Honestly, okay. I'll swap my answer. If I was introducing you. To my German family, it would be you, American, because he's more American. You're more European. Yeah, I am. Yeah. That that is what this podcast is. You are European and I'm American. Oh, you have the, that. Look at that jacket. That's that very I know. I'm American. I'm, I'm, I'll, I, I'm, I'll tell you something. At the end of the day, I'm a small town boy from Massachusetts, <laughs> and you will never take that away from me. <laughs> Lee, Massachusetts for life. Well, and I'm that 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 town is in my. That blood. is the opening monologue for your sitcom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just a small, small town t- boy from Massachusetts. You'll hear it on Rogan. <laughs> 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 Sometimes when I'm running, I do picture me on Rogan and mm-hmm. saying like, "Joe, I'm just a boy from Lee, Massachusetts." And Honestly, never, you I, should just send him your weight loss journey. And you'll get on next week. I know. I should gonna kill Tony and be like, "I used to be 400 pounds." <laughs> he just pops out. He goes, "What?" Yeah. All right. Well, well this do is you it. have anything coming up that you want to plug? Um. Don't scream. Just you can follow me at comedian Tony Casillas, and I post all my shows. I'm gonna start a new podcast soon, so. Check that out. And, uh, yeah, this was fun. Great. Thank you for being on the podcast. Thank you for being on. Thank you. Anytime. You guys, thank you for listening. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Tell them about all the sick things we said today. At Dylan P. Carlino. Colton Dowling. And, of course. The Jimmy Clifford. And do we have to tell them to, like, like and subscribe? I well, just did. Yeah, not, uh, oh, make I sure to write a review on Apple. <laughs> <laughs> write a fucking review on or Apple, Spotify. pegs. Ooh. Put that in the beginning. Okay. Put don't that. Say, don't say pegs. No, no, they're pegs. We're okay with pigs. They're like little piss pigs. That's all they ever want. It's I have like, a joke oh, about oh, piss, yeah. and like I'm like I don't even like piss. You, what do you want? I, I don't even like piss. What do, want, what do you want in your mouth, bitch? <laughs> Put an Apple review in, okay? Thank follow you. the podcast and follow us on YouTube. We love you. Bye. Love you. Bye.